36 days into the game, and we're down to our final five. Get ready, everybody, for the Saints versus Sinners finale. Yeah! Final five. <laughs> oh my god. Good job. Previously on Minecraft Survivor, Saints versus Sinners. Eight Saints and eight Sinners began the journey of a lifetime. Bonds were formed and enemies were created as this dramatic season began. With $100 on the line, nothing was off limits. That bitch can die. Um, half a being the first boot. Fucking complex, you stupid bitch. We what are. I'm trying to tell you is that I didn't throw your name out. They told me- And I didn't throw out yours. Why are we having this fucking conversation? Yeah, let's be petty with it. I'm gonna block Thermal's vote. Hey. And Whoa. Vote has been rocked out. I'm sorry, out. man. Oh. It's cool. Hi, folks. Man, I choice. hope you get your penis chopped off, you little fucking bitch. Whoever else did it, fuck you. Suck my fucking pussy. Fuck you guys. This shit not be played. Oh my Good God. fucking luck. You like, fucked literally? me. You fucked me, was... You fucked me. Okay. You literally left the fucking voting booth. I want to do B. I think she's a cocky bitch. Foxy, yeah. get, get yes. my goddamn name out of your mouth, please. I'm not going to say names, but... You've only you said names. No, say names! <laughs> now you won't say names! Now you're not saying names. <laughs> this little bitch over on the other side is lying. I've been dinkle snorfed. Ooh, get your ass out of here! Fuck that. Let's take out red. Let's take out red. No right now. fucking way. No. 100%. That's not gonna work. Good. Fuck him. Fuck him and that fucking deal. Hopefully, you vote yourself out here. You deserve to go. Bye, bitch. <laughs> one by one. Both Saints and Sinners were taken out of this game until only five remained. Weiss. Weiss started this game hot, receiving a vote immediately at the first tribal council. Weiss joined the It Girls and has been through ups and downs alongside Kimmy. Weiss has been targeting Kyle for many rounds now. Will Weiss finally get his wish? I came in a model and, you know, I won't say I used my good looks to get to the end, but, you know, if it helps me win $100, it helps me win $100. Madison. Madison has been her authentic self all game, not afraid to be blunt and bold. This social diva has been a force as she controlled the Saints tribe and now has been impacting the game alongside her partner in crime, Kyle. With only a few votes left, will this dynamic diva come out on top or explode? Like I said before, and I'll say it again, all those against the queen will die, and I think it's pretty obvious that I'm not done fighting. Kyle, the other half of the Saints duo, Kyle has been a vote magnet all game tallying up a total of 12 votes to his name. Kyle has only gotten stronger as his presence in the game becomes more and more threatening. With the final three in sights, will his name be written down to be sent packing or to be crowned a winner? I have played this game way too damn long to lose now. Kimmy. Kimmy's been fighting as the figurehead from her side. Ever since B was sent home, Kimmy has let nothing stand in her way. With two immunity wins and seven votes to her name, her threat level has risen to an all time high. With nowhere to hide, will this it girl be sent packing or crown herself the queen of this game? I was dunking on these donuts all fucking season, and it's time for me to get what was mine, the 100 fucking dollars. No one can do it like me. Win a little, sin a lot. Ow! Boston. Boston has had his hands in every pot as he's pulled strings behind the scenes. With everyone needing him on his side, Boston has played the middle as an undercover villain. After taking out his number one ally in Red last episode, Boston is left exposed. Will this evil mastermind complete his mission or fall to his center ways? I can almost smell that hundred dollars that soccer's gonna hand me. Oh, I wanna take it from his grimy little hands. I am so excited. With two votes left, there's still tons of gameplay to take place. Two saints and three centers remain, but only one can claim the title of sole survivor.
You snaked on us. You flipped I... on us. Only dude. Oh, dude. What I'm... the hell is that? We're Bro, supposed to I... take out the big challenge thread. I thought we were supposed to go to the end together, right? Dude, red was we're still the doing that. Red. I, my, my he's about to win. Plan... He's about to win a challenge. My game plan is to have me, you, Madison at the final three still. It doesn't I know. matter we, what happens. We gotta, we gotta get there. You know, there, Kimmy and Weiss, that's the that's alliance. If Kimmy wins both immunities, we're friggity fucked. Red going home was unideal for my game. Because I wanted to keep him as, as a target. Because he, he was doing a lot more in this game than Kimmy. And that's why they took him out. But, you know, Red, Red going home means... My my next on the chopping block. I think I'm next as seeing the person who's done the most. Obviously, Kimmy's still a threat because she wins more challenges than me. But I think, you know, Kimmy wins a challenge. I'm just the obvious vote. I'm the person who's done the most of the game still. And I don't like that. I, I, I want to be the second most, the third most, until we get to the end. I, and I gotta say, that's an alliance of two. Are you about to flip on us? Are you taking me out this time, Boston? Are you, is that what you're doing? Absolutely not, dude. Okay, Kimmy, okay. She does, they are, they 100% are gonna talk to me and try yeah. to swing me over. I mean, that's yeah. gonna be an obvious thing. Like, we don't need sure. to like play around with that. And obviously, oh, right. I'm, I'm gonna be, in, I'm gonna talk with them about it and like gonna go along with it. But at, like, my loyalty lies with you two still. Tribal went amazing uh we did pull off the plan i got the three two one on red um that was i feel like that was probably the best move for me because now i do have options i do have the duo of kyle and madison that i can vote with now or i can stick with wise and kimmy that i just voted with and go with them so i do feel like i'm in the middle position again and i do have options here I want no. We we all needed a chat, yeah, queens. Yeah, definitely yeah. need. Because we're gonna be in the final three together. <laughs> well, is well, that the case? Because yeah, hey, you didn't vote need... Kimmy out last time. Yes, I already That's talked. What I've, I've been I already, saying. I already talked to Kyle about this. No, I mean I'll tell you why. I'll give you that a quick was run. So stupid of you. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> you know what? Tell me. No, tell me right now. Just yeah, lay, lay into me. Lay into your shit. Um, just, Ow, ow. Yo, talk your shit. Shit. I'm getting beat up. Talk your shit, Madison. Talk your shit. That was so stupid of you. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you because now, like, our if you really want to do this, our chances are gonna go lower and lower the longer we keep her here. Oh my god, Boston is such a fucking snake. Now, this is the second time that he's like done something where he's lied right to my face and then been like, I'm so sorry after. Like, he kind of drew the fucking lines in the sand now with Kyle and I. And I don't think I could keep him in moving forward. But coming down to final five, I think we're fucked. Like, I think if I win, Kyle's going home. And if Kyle wins, I'm going home. Okay. Um, do you want me do you, do you even want to hear why? Like, let, at least let me tell you why. Yeah. So, like, I, I okay. That would have been so cool. The, <laughs> <laughs> they, okay. The, they, those two talked to me before the vote and they're like, we have to go for Madison here. I'm like, I am not going to vote Madison. The only way I vote with you guys is if it's red. And they obviously had to go along with it because that's the only way they had my vote. Right. Um, I I know you guys are so scared of Kimmy in the physical comps, but did, did you did you guys not did, you, did we not see red winning back to back? No, comps? I, I know he, him finishing second almost every time like he's pretty much beaten us every time we've been a part of a comp with him. He is just as physically good as Kimmy is. I do feel bad about taking my boy Red out. You know, he had a very long, sad speech and it was directed at me. And I do feel terrible for screwing him over. But at the end of the day, I am a sinner. And I, I told myself that I will betray even my closest allies just for the win, so. Red, if you're seeing this, man, I love you, but you were too much of a good player, and I had to send you home, bro. I'm sorry. And on a jury, he, he would destroy all of us. Let's be real. He's played That's the, the same way I feel about Kimmy, though. She's got but, a lot of friends on jury. I do realize she has friends, but I think on this jury, they're going to be respecting more gameplay, and she's been not at... not. Red's been at the top. She's been not at the top. You know what I mean? My, my ideal right now is to... Go with this this plan for Boston and take out Kimmy so we can get to Final Four. And then, you know, Boston thinks I'm going to the end with him. Uh, he's done more than Weiss. Weiss has kind of been there doing jack shit. And the Mass is just my ally who I'm, I'm not flipping on because that's that's a lot of my game this year, or this, this season. 
Uh, so, you know, if I could ideally make a big villain move at Final Four, take Boston out, I know he wants to be in Final Three, but uh, take him out there and the end could be me, Whiteson, and, and Madison. I I feel pretty good about my chances, but uh, you know, there's still, there's still a ride to get there. So, here's what I'm thinking. Are you are you buying all that? Okay, well, no. I think if Kimmy goes up, or if Kimmy wins immunity, I'm gone. I do think if Kimmy doesn't win immunity, then uh, vote with us. It just doesn't make sense to vote Weiss out. Weiss no. has done shit. No. I've, I feel like I'm the perceived bigger threat uh, than Weiss by a If mile. this works here, I say we vote Kimmy out and then we do him next. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're on the same page. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> uh, because, I mean, me, you, and Weiss, in the end, it's, it's one of us gets a free one. I don't know yeah. who it is. I'm feeling a, a little crazy right now. Maybe you could say a little defeated because Boston keeps pulling stunt after stunt after stunt. And I'm honestly kind of sick of it. I really thought that I could sit next to Kyle and Boston in the final three, but it's making it seem more and more difficult as the time gets closer with all the shit that Boston keeps pulling. I don't respect the game that he's been playing. He's been trying to play middle. And well, I, don't I think it. I respect it. I, I respect it. I would vote him because uh, I think he's played a good game. I don't but that's, think so. that's exactly why I don't want him there. That's exactly why I don't want him there. I think he's uh, played. A, I don't think he's played a great game, but I think he's played a better game than Weiss. That I don't I think, want him there. I think he is. I mean, the only reason he didn't vote Kimmy out it wasn't because of the challenge that stuff. Yes, Red has played a better game, but that's why you want him to be a final five so that he's a bigger target. He voted Red out because he knew that Kimmy and Weiss were doing. We're a duo, and he could just put himself in the middle and in the middle. Right to the exactly. End. I'm like, I know what he's doing. Now I need. We have to use it because we got Against played him, last yeah. time. We but we have we have to use it this time to get hopefully Kimmy out. So, Red just got voted out, and to be honest, it's work. I wanted this to happen for quite a bit in this game. I knew that that deal that we had at, what, it was like Final 8 to get myself, Kyle, and Red to get to Final 5 was going to end early. I just didn't expect it to fall back on me. Like, you guys preach so much about these plans to honor and integrity, but clearly, I'm not the only sinner on this game because you all went and turned your back on me and karma got you like you're now gone and Kyle's in the hot seat now like Kyle and Madison by far are priority in this final stretch of the game. Bitch we're here. We, we made, made it. it. We made it. Like and oh my god let me tell you some tea. Kyle is yeah. pissed. Really? He's pissed. Like but honestly let him be pissed he can go home next like i don't really care like no, literally i don't care like i and the thing is like i love madison but like it doesn't take away from the fact that she's a threat in this game and yeah. like girl they they tried to gag me they tried to gag you i am so 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 thankful that they split the votes on me and kimmy we're still here we are still doing great our hopeful final three is me, Kimmy, and Boston. Um, will I probably win? Probably not. Like, and that's fine. Like, I've made it so much farther than I thought I would. And I'm happy with that. Um, if I do win, then period. Turned it out. But I'm excited to see what these next final challenges bring for us. So, yeah. Those two, they, they, they were... Madison came in, like fucking pissed like it's, been, it's like it's been a while like what did i the, do oh, no they're they're not even mad at you they were mad at me because they wanted you out they they want to split you two up so fucking bad and they were so pissed because the vote was supposed to be two 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 and i was like hell no nah, i'm not voting kim your west out hell no nah. like, oh. because they're a duel themselves like why are we playing mm -hmm. favorites exactly. like the fuck they're a duel no. themselves I I cannot wait to betray Kimmy. <laughs> I cannot wait to put a knife in her fucking back. Holy shit, if she doesn't win, she's going home. Oh my god. I just, my game plan now, I have to get Wes. I'm gonna have to do damage control with Wes, but I gotta make, I gotta open Wes's eyes up to like make sure that he knows that Kimmy cannot go to the final three with us. And I need him to fight for me at final four so I can at least tie the vote. That is the game plan right now. Uh, We need to go into this competition Kimmy has to lose. We have to make sure she loses at all costs. So let's fucking lock in, boys.
Welcome, Final Five, to the Final Five Immunity Challenge. Kyle, gonna have back the immunity necklace. Yeah, here you go. Oh, and by that, oh, 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 I, I, oh, that's a button. There you go. For today's challenge, you will use levitation to scale up a wall. Inside the wall is a combination of letters and numbers. You will only need the letters. Once you feel confident in knowing these letters, you will move on and complete the process again on the next wall. You will do this until you have 11 letters memorized. Then you'll grab your letters and race back to the start. Once back to the start, you will use levitation again to complete a vertical word puzzle. First player to complete this word puzzle wins individual immunity. Survivors ready, go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sh oh shit, I fell on the fucking thing. Oh, Kyle and, Kyle and Wise both looking at their third one. So is Boston. How did you even get one, bitch? The fuck? Oh, oh my Boss, god. Boston oh shit, I gotta grab the letters! Boston oh forgot god. his letters. Maybe they're rushing or maybe they have all their letters, but these three are at the final wall. Uh, Why is in the lead? For the first time ever, thank you. Okay, what the fuck am I doing here? Okay. Got a little cash now, now my skirt is Dior. Kimmy's back, Stop, does I'm she have sing. all of her letters? Nobody's placed any letters yet, so Madison is not out of this challenge. I Madison's on her way him. back. The diva is picking it up. Yes. Diva, diva, diva. She's now placing letters. Are they in the right spot? Nope. Kyle's on his way back. Uh. Uh, now what the fuck is this word? Oops. Boston gonna give this challenge a try? Am I stupid? Boom! Boston has one word placed. Yeah, judge, judge. And Boston no. wins. Final judge, five of unity. Oh. Wait, what is it? Fallen Angel. Fallen oh, Angel. I fucking go, oh, baby. I, just, I got it just later. What? <laughs> oh. Congratulations, Boston, on your first immunity win. You. Come and get the necklace. What? You, Boston, you will be in the final four. As for the rest of you, it's to be determined. Y'all can head back to camp. All right, we just got the immunity necklace. Boom, that's what we needed right there. I'm, I'm really hyped up about this. Uh, this could not come at a more crucial time. Uh, this gives me all the power. Uh, I can now either go with both sides and I don't have to worry about an idol. <laughs> okay, wait, we need to have a serious talk here. Like this is probably gonna be like one of the most important chats here, I feel like. Um, yep. Obviously, like you, me, Kimmy, like in theory, we should stick together, probably vote Kyle here. But yeah. have you had any like second thoughts? I, I feel like realistically, Kyle is the best option for at least this one just because the like comp wise i feel like he is a bigger competitor like i do not want him to win that final four i mean there's not much to do but i know i i'm gonna be honest i don't want you out i want to sit final three with you like i want to lock in a f i know it's i know it's final three but i want to lock in a final two with you just because i feel like i don't know like i i just feel like the other three players right now like all are okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna lay out on the table like i feel like you me and madison should probably be the final three i'm gonna be realistic with you yeah it's pretty clear it's me and kimmy versus madison and kyle it's gonna be two to two boston kind of has the deciding vote which i really hope he does not vote for kimmy here because like not like i'm not just saying that because it's my girl like that puts me at fourth which is like fucked up like 
It, like, if Kimmy goes, I'm next, obviously, you know? That's... I'm just like, I can't. I can't do this. I feel like you and I need to make, like, a big move at the end of the day. Like, we're gonna... If we go to Final Four with Kimmy, though, she... If, with, if, let's, let's be realistic here. Me, you, and Madison... Fucking dumb, dumb, and fucking dumber versus Kimmy at Final Four. We're never winning that. She's winning the game. Wes, she's winning the game at four if we bring her. And she doesn't have an idol. This might be our only chance. I did have a call with Wes, and I said, hey, like, let's cut the bullshit, dude. Are, are we really going to sit with Kimmy at the Final Three? And, you know, he at first was not, he didn't really like it. But the more I talked to him about it, he kind of opened his eyes a little bit about, yeah, we will probably lose sitting next to Kimmy. And I, I need that. I need that. That was really good. So Boston's coming to me, like, wanting to vote out Kimmy. And like, girl, Boston, get a fucking grip. Like, you're in here with two final twos and you. Like, you are the most fucking smooth brain person on in this game, honestly. If you think I'm going to vote out my number one here right now, like, get a fucking grip. So, uh, what's going on here? Is it as simple as we're voting each other? Is that is that kind of the game yeah, plan? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> and and our lives are in Father Boston's and it's just kind of whoever you Great. Right. Just, just exactly wow. what I wanted. And he has immunity, so... <laughs> it's just... So he really is the godfather of this, this tribal. Whoever he wants to go, uh, oh. is gone. Oh. So, uh... I guess uh, good um, luck. I'm ready to vote, I guess. <laughs> I am too. I mean, I don't, got, I don't got much else to say, you know. I don't either. It's, it's kind of, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's Final Five. We, I think this is, It's this, this was kind of my worry about letting, you know, everything go the way it went is like, obviously Boston's the, the split right. vote. Like, but we, he positioned mm -hmm. himself that way so he could He did, he did. Like, like he, he, he that's that's why it's I was worried about his game is he got himself exactly where he wanted. Yeah, I mean, nothing's changing. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bullshit the dude and like and this feeble, young-minded little child who can't win in the end, and I'm no threat, and they are playing so much better a game than me. He's not an idiot, and the more I, I brown nose him, the more he's gonna not want to vote with me. So. You know, if they all want to talk together and they vote me out, you know, it's been fun. There's nothing else I could do. Uh, one, I didn't keep enough threats in front of me, and uh, that's on me. So, you know, it comes down to this. If <laughs> if Kimmy goes home here, I think I have a free ride to the end. Well, uh, I wish both of you luck. I think both of you play a great game. Uh, no, if, I agree. Like, if, I mean... if, if I'm out here, like, best of luck to both y'all. I can see either of you winning. Yeah, I mean, we all got targeted from the very fucking beginning. Like, yeah, so I honestly feel like the three of us have the best chance of winning. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I appreciate we'll it. See. Appreciate we'll it. See. I mean, but, uh, I'm gonna keep going with what I need to do. But well, I yeah, think that, yeah. honestly, like, I wouldn't be mad if either you won. Like, I know we're against each other, but like, I'm no, not I petty know. like that. No, I'm no, mad. yeah. I agree. I was gonna say my vote's just forever plays the best game. I don't. Uh, I got no hard you. feelings for anyone. If yeah. you're sitting next to BK. I'm fucking for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Madison does not like his game. Wait, we need to decide that. Like, what do you guys want to do? Fucking snipe Kyle. Yeah, Wes. Like, it's finally, it's finally time for his ass to go. Yeah. After all these rounds. We can call yeah. him the cockroach. He's been, he's been out here for no, way literally. too long. At the end of the day, I'm just gonna say how it is. Just reaffirm yeah. everything. Kyle is probably the best of the challenges in this game because yeah. because I might be good at certain things. You might be good at certain things. You might be good at certain things. Kyle is good all around at every single challenge. Every single challenge that we've had, he has been close to winning practically every single time. Like he's good at puzzles. He's good at parkour. He's good at shulkers. He's good at everything. Kyle not only is good at challenges, he has the best game of the final five period. He has he talked to all the jury. He's good with all the jury. He's good with Madison. If one goes, the other has to go. This vote is going to be huge. I have to make the decision. I am the swing vote between Kimmy and Kyle, presumably. Uh, I do. I've set up. I've I've had this set up so many votes now. Like I've been thinking so many steps ahead. Getting out red here allowed me to be the swing vote here at Final Five, even if I did not win immunity. Uh, I'm sitting in a swing vote position here. Uh, both duos are coming to me and offering up 
the other person. I mean, Kyle's offering up Kimmy. Kimmy's offering up Kyle. Are we down for Kyle though? They, I, yes. I gotta talk to Kyle real quick. Just, I'm, I'm just gonna. Like, I don't, I don't even know if I tell him. I'm probably just gonna lie to him and say like, yeah, I'll vote Kimmy, but. Yeah, I'm just giving Boston, you a heads up. I want to let you know right now, it is not a good idea to bring those two to the final four. Period. Uh, it is not I, a good idea. I'm, I'm not bringing a duo to the final four. I just cannot believe this motherfucker, Boston, right now. Like, are you being so serious? Like, I can't with him. I don't want to go to the end with the final two. Girl, what are you about to do? Like, he needs to get a grip, and me and Kimmy need to get his ass in check. That is for damn sure. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chat with him to see what he has to say. But okay. <laughs> let's okay. do this. How genuine you think Kimmy, he is? Kimmy, girl, Kimmy, Kimmy. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my motherfucking medulla. Like, Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. What? He what? What? is all over the damn place. Like, I can't. I can't. He's like, he. Okay, he's like, it's between you and Kyle. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay. He's like, how, how do you feel about voting Kimmy? And I'm like, girl, I don't want to do that. I literally told him straight up, I'm like, if we vote Kimmy here, I will be next. And he's like, no, 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 like, me or you could just win the immunity. Bitch, I'm like, what? are you kidding? No, he wants him I'm to like, win immunity. immunity. He wants you to go home, bitch. Oh. That, that's what oh. I said. That's literally what I said. I was like, and he's like, no, it's not like that. Like, he's like, my ideal final three is like me, you, and Madison. Like, if Kimmy and Kyle are the next two to go, we're solid. I hate this man with a burning passion. Boston infuriates me as a player. Like, how are you going to be in the most powerful position in this game and not know what the fuck you're doing? I am not the biggest threat. Kyle, like, you might say, oh, this might be our only chance to get out Kimmy. Bitch, I wasn't immune last Tribal Council. I wasn't immune Final 8. I wasn't immune Final 9. I was not immune Final 11. Kyle needs to go home tonight. Like, is he fucking no. stupid? Yeah, that's what literally, that's literally Kyle what saying. Kyle and Madison went into a chat with me and dogged the shit out of Boston's <laughs> game to me. How are you going to go and work with them? No, literally, they just want to take him, so it's basically a final two. It, 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 Which, Boston better be either the, like, the dumbest player ever or what? Like, no, literally. I, wanted, I thought it was funny when he just said, he's like, I'm not that dumb. I'm not going to take a final two to the final three as he's talking to like us. Like... But what about <laughs> Kelly Madison and Babe? What about Kelly Madison? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, honey, you're playing with two duos. Like, come on now. Mm, exactly. <laughs> it's inevitable. So I lost the challenge. Boston won. And yeah, that was part of my plan for someone else other than me to win. So that Boston ruins his game. But clearly I didn't need to because this man actually has a shit fucking game. That game is actually terrible. Like, like I don't trust a person who comes to me and is like, oh, I'm just going to tell them what they want to hear. This is like, this is what it looks like on paper. Sure. What does it look like on paper? <laughs> it's it's like it's like you guys they're they're I mean they're all of course they're gonna like blow shit up like bigger than it is but they're they're just saying like you guys are like the duo it is so stupid to go to a but final four. They're a duo. But I know, yeah, but it, it, it's they're just, it's, just as long. and like just like that like they those two could band together and like vote me out. But they I mean they want to sit like all they want to sit the three of us at the end just because we're all sinners. I'm like guys, oh, yeah, we have sure we have to it. we have to sit there, but. I feel yeah, like I mean, after, I don't... after all these conversations, I feel like you should know what's best for you. And I don't think sitting next to them would be best for you. I'm not going to lie to you because like I said before, Kimmy has a lot of friends on jury. And like, I know like maybe to you, that doesn't mean a lot, but to jury, people are going to vote who they like, who they're friends with. And if Kimmy's there with people she's friends with, they're going to vote for her. I have I was in calls with both duos. I told them both what they wanted to hear. Um, Obviously, they uh, both sides think I'm voting with them, uh, but that's not the case here. That's not the case. I do have to think long term, even though there's two people, there's only two vote offs left. I have to think about final four. This vote is going to set up whether I win or lose the game here. I have to think like, do I want to go to the end with the Saints duo, who are very locked in, will most likely not betray each other, um, but I do get out Kimmy, who is the biggest jury threat at this point. Uh, or do I just stick with my sinners, take out Kyle here, uh, and go possibly go to the final three with all sinners? It's uh, it's just it's it's a tough it's a it's a tough call here. We're in this like it's final three. Okay. Like, what the fuck? If I, you mean what you say, like. Well, Matt, I, I need there. your I need your confidence, Madison. Like, well, no, how am I supposed to give me? you my full confidence and trust when you've voted different ways for me multiple times? 
It's only been two times. Okay, but it was two more than it should have been. You should have just been <laughs> open and honest with me. <laughs> no, 100%. <laughs> I need your confidence, though, because they they want me to vote with them. You you know what I mean? Like, but I mean, I, we, I can, we can do this, but honestly, right now, the power is in your hands. I feel like I have a, a, a contract in front of me. And the contract says, you will get to the final three. And 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 in parentheses it says, but if you win, d- immunity today. And it's like there's gonna be a lot of people thinking this is the time. This is the time to take them out. This is our best opportunity. Not gonna get another shot. And they're right. They don't take me out here. I think I'm in the final three. I think it's just set in stone. I feel if you go home this tribal, I will literally like. Do backflips on Kyle's dick to stay here and get to the final three for <laughs> and us. You will make it to the final. You'll make it to the final. Yes. I will literally be like, I'm alone. My girl just went out. Like, I will literally expose Boston's game to them and be like, Kyle, like, I don't even care that you're gonna win. Just get me there. Get that motherfucker out. Period. Don't play in my face. Don't play in my face. Like, Boston is literally the most wishy-washy player I've ever met, and this is exactly why I wanted to ruin his game. I don't even think I have to ruin his game on purpose anymore. It's literally happening without me even needing to do anything. Will I take credit? Absolutely. But, my god, if Boston doesn't take me to this final, you're going to have hell to pay. Like, Madison and Kyle are going to mop the back of piss out you bitches. Like, Boston infuriating as a player that you cannot just stick to one side at all. You want to say you have me so good, you have me so good, but then you'll turn on me like you turned on B, turn on me like you turned on Jeffles and, and Thermo, turn on me like you turned on Red. You turned on your number one ally for me, and now you want to go back and undo that, so you're, you turning on your ally was pointless. I'm sure that'll make him feel good in the jury when he watches me walk through the next doors. I, I thought Boston was my biggest concern going into this final three. He's not my least concern. The only reason I'm worried about him is because I need him to take me to the final. That's literally all. But I need to talk with him real quick. I'm really nervous about tonight. I like, are you really going to vote for Kyle with me? Why, 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 why all of a sudden the- Cause, Cause Kyle and Madison are making me fucking nervous. What are they saying to you? Like, why like, are you nervous? Because like, they're so confident they're staying. <laughs> they're so confident they're staying. Like, Wait, I, really? Yes. They really? Were literally, yes. They were literally talking to me. They were like so confident. They're like, like, they're like, they acted like I was going to be the one that was going home. Like they like, were, what were they so saying? sure about They were like, I mean, like, like good luck and jury, I guess. But like, I, I mean, when I like vote you out, no hard feelings, like everything like that. And I'm like, boy, what the fuck? Like, bitch, I'm voting you guys. And I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll see. He's gonna try to get me to vote you out, and it's not happening. I just hope you know. Like I have a feeling. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm just I voted Kibby. I don't care what he or anyone yeah. says. If he goes with this, whatever. I, I don't know. I don't actually know what his plan is. I could see him going I with us. I could see him pumping on us. I could absolutely see. I just I I think he has a better chance against them. I think both of us have played better social games and have just a more impressive I feel resume. Like he'd be stupid not to vote us out here. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he has a pretty good chance of winning with them because. People are going to like Kimmy's game because Kimmy just won immunities. I think if he keeps me and Kyle here, he's kind of stupid. No offense. All love. I, 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 I don't even know what to say here because like, I don't even know. All love to him as a person. But I think if he keeps me and Kyle here, he's stupid because uh, there's no promises that I will keep him next week. And I've said that to him, but he's gone against my trust. Now it's time for him to do something to me and I can stab him right back in the back like he's done to me multiple times. That's what you're gonna tell me right now. I'm not voting him out. I no, I I don't okay. want you to vote. I don't want you to vote him out here. I, okay. I I actually like I want we we agreed on Kimmy, right? Yes. No, I thought that's what you were gonna say. Why you wanted to pull me away? So here here's the thing though is that like I I from what I've gone about you, I know you are a very like loyal player. I that's mm-hmm. just like what I've gone and I people respect the fuck out of that because this game is all about fucking people over and I feel like you've fucked over the least amount of people mm-hmm. you know and that uh, was one of, i wouldn't say that 
Well, that was one of West. I fucking rocks. I went to fucking rocks to get someone. But, else. Yes, but that was pre-jury. Like he's fucking forgotten about. Like who even fuck was that? You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. gone though. You know. Oh my god. I'm honestly annoyed at this point that Boston pulled me aside to have a conversation with him one on one. Like I feel like in any other circumstance I would be happy, but now I've gotten to the point where whenever he pulls me aside, I know it's going to be to talk about whatever fuck ass scheme he has going on. Everything with him is a scheme and it's making me feel really uneasy and I don't know if I want to listen to it anymore. I we need to talk about final four though because like let's let's just be like fully transparent madison like mm -hmm. we went to summit together i i told you i want to go to the end with you no matter what like right i've been thinking about it like uh, me you kyle final three that would be so fun but like i know you're super loyal but do you want to sit with kyle at the end though i do but i listen we had this whole plan planned out if you want to go against it so be it you know what's best for your game I don't think sitting next to Kimmy and Weiss would be best for your game. I think sitting next to me and Kyle would. And I think going against it right now, honestly, you could vote me out here, but I'll tell you right now, if you're sitting next to Kimmy, Kimmy's getting my vote. I'm not going to lie to you. After, after my call with Kyle and Madison reaffirming our final three, I had a private call with Madison. And this really threw a wrench in everything because I told her, I'm like, I'm like, I said the same thing I said to Wes. I, I, I spat out lies. I said that Wes is telling me that uh, that Madison has really good friends, blah, blah, blah. I made so much bullshit up just to like, just to get her like a little bit hyped up and maybe, I don't know, maybe willing to make a move. And I talked to her and I said, let's cut the bullshit. I said the same thing to Wes. I was like, let's cut the bullshit. Like, do you really want to sit at final three with Kyle? And she bold faced straight up just said yes. And that right there is gonna be a problem for me. The fact that Madison does not, she's okay with going to the end with Kyle is just, it's just, it baffles me, honestly. Like, how are you okay with spending all this time just to hand the win over to fucking Kyle? What are we doing? What are we doing here, people? Are, are we throwing the game? I don't get it. So. Now I might have to vote Kyle out. I might have to vote Kyle out and just hope and pray that I win the final four immunity. It's like, yeah, if I do vote Kimmy out, you and Kyle are not gonna betray each other. And like, do I want to- I wouldn't betray final... you either. I wanted to go to final three with you. That's the thing. We were supposed to have a three here. It's I, not just I, two. Me and I Kyle know. were a two before merge. Now we're a three. I my, need my... like full confidence. Like Kyle, yes. what does Kyle said? Does he, is he, does he- We want to take you to three. We've been down with it. We've been down with it. We've been down with it. I don't know. Like, honestly, Madison is really making... If she said, yes, I don't want Kyle there, that would be so easy. Kimmy goes, me, Wes, Madison, final three. Easiest fucking thing ever. But Madison, of course, has to be loyal and fuck everything up. You know, she's a saint at the end of the day. What can I say? But no, honestly, going into tribal, I will probably have to make my decision at tribal. Uh, both sides are voting for each other. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I say, fuck it, we ball. Let's shoot. Welcome, Final Five, to y'all's Final Five Tribal Council. Uh, Boston, first time seeing you here with the necklace. How's it going to be safe at this crucial round? You know, it could not come at a better time. You know, Final Five, we're so deep in the game. There's only so many people that can leave. Like, it was definitely a very sweet feeling to finally be able to show off a little bit of my skill that i have you know i know i've been hiding it a little bit but you know it, it was it was it was it was it was a fun competition so kyle on the contrary you had the necklace and now you don't does that make you feel very anxious or there's still avenues that you can play here without the necklace this vote's pretty clear cut there there's one of two ways it goes mm -hmm. i'm going or kimmy's going <laughs> and uh, there's not there's not a lot of leeway in there. I think mm -hmm. the second the second one of us didn't win immunity, uh, that's when the game kind of uh, you know it's a, it's a toss up and it's it's down to it's down to Boston as we all know. Mm -hmm. So Kimmy, you keep giving me some mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> just to Kyle's <laughs> answers. So clearly, you also seem to agree this between you or Kyle tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's definitely <laughs> not like literally that that's been apparent like every like myself and kyle even talked about it like literally we acknowledged it we talked about it like hey i'm voting you you're voting me like that's completely fine like whatever 
Like, so yeah, it is between us tonight and I trust that the people who have promised will make the right decision because I think it's pretty obvious what should happen. Madison, do you think it's obvious what should happen tonight? Um, I think it is obvious. Um, I've had that discussion with uh, Boston and I trust that he will do what he knows is right for his game. Wise. So you go wrong. we've heard a lot of Boston being the decider here. How do you navigate around where the entirety of it seems to be coming down to just one person? I feel like you kind of just got to put it out there and kind of like lay it all on the table at this point and like kind of give all the options and like think two steps ahead. Obviously, he is the deciding vote. Everybody here fucking knows that at this point, you know? I hope he is thinking for Final Four and Final Three, like to get there and not just for Final Five. All right, and before we vote, I'll bring it back one more time to Boston. Your name's been said a pretty good amount at this tribal council, so. Yeah, damn, you, you, holy you see, shit. You seem to be quite the deciding vote here. So that puts a lot of pressure on you. How, how much pressure do you feel to make the right move for your game? It's a, it's a, it's a position of being, I'm just gonna say that. It's a, it's a big position to be in. Obviously, it will dictate how the game finishes, uh, however this vote goes, so. And with that, it is time to vote. Kimmy, you're up first. With how many times you've been targeted, I just need you to finally fucking go home. These fucking fuckheads, I can't. Hey, I am, am I. I think I voted you like four or five times now and you still haven't gone home. You're a fucking cockroach and I hope the fuck you go home here. Thank you. A lot has changed. My, my conversation with Madison definitely threw me for a loop probably gonna affect my decision here. I don't know, it's just, I'm weighing all the options here. This decision is gonna be huge. Uh, hopefully I make the right one. I will go tally the votes. All right. I have tallied the votes. If anybody has hidden me to the idol and would like to play it, now would be the last night to do so. Ooh, she the devil, Ooh, she the bad little bad bitch, she a rebel. Ooh, she the devil, she a bad little bitch, she a rebel. Middle finger, bitch, I don't have shit. Uh, <laughs> and with that, I will read the votes. First vote, Kimmy. I love my fans, like, Gus. Second vote, if you want to Kyle. Oh my gosh, I'm just so sexy. I get it. Third vote. <laughs> Kyle. What? Two of wow. them? <laughs> Fourth vote. Kimmy. I mean, <gasps> if you wanted to on a grab, just ask. Guys. <laughs> two votes, Kyle. Two votes, Kimmy. One vote left. And the 11th person voted out of Minecraft Survivor, Saints vs. Sinners. And an ex-member of the jury. Kimmy. Kimmy, oh, okay. that's enough. The tribe has spoken. It's okay. It's all oh good. God, it's all good. Good game. You, you yeah, good it's game. all good. It's all good. Wait, where's my little Wait. hubby? Where's my hubby? Get up, hubby. Bye. I'll miss you. <laughs> I love you. Get up, hubby. With these snakes. Oh. Two, two rats and a snake. Sorry. Hey, I'm not a rat. I mean, I look pretty damn good for a rat. Kimmy, you put up a great fight. It was a lot of fun having you here. However, the tribe has spoken. It's okay. See, she's not going home today. It's okay. time for you to go. <laughs> okay, one last thing. Um, no hard feelings, guys. Uh, you guys, honestly, like, I stand by everything I said. You guys have played a great game. Um, best of luck in the finale. And I think that to the person who obviously made the decision to have me get sent home, no hard feelings. But at the end of the day, I think it's just pointless to lie to my face when you knew you were just gonna vote me out from the beginning. So I guess I'll just keep remembering that, you know, people just don't change and that's completely fine. Well, we now have our final four. Which of y'all three will be in the final tribal council? 
Only time will tell. Head back to camp. I think that I played a really good game. Like, hell, I played an amazing game in my opinion. I think that I mopped the floor with a lot of these bitches a lot of the time. And I think that honestly, it just speaks for itself that Boston, again, is making enemies with the jury. Because I wasn't even like too mad at him, like game-wise, but the fact that you would just sit there and lie to my face, just like say, oh, like I'm only telling them what they want to hear. Like, oh, I've like, I wanted to vote this person out since before. Like Boston, like I'm literally like, I was going to go home. Just tell me to my face, I'm going home. I don't have a fucking idol, you idiot. You sugared me up and then voted me out like you did to every other person on this jury. And nobody's going to respect that in the end. So best of luck to your game. But I guess I always wondered why you were a sinner. And now I understand. Don't make me get about oh my, my feet. Kimmy, Kimmy, <laughs> unfortunately, your time in the game come has 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 come to an end. Come see it's me real okay. quick. Come stand right by me. Which which one? Oh, okay. Hey, mm -hmm. baddie. <laughs> hey, baddie. Hey. So, Kimmy. Um, let's talk about my game for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's talk about your <laughs> game for a second. So, I have some questions for you here, Kimmy. Yes, ma'am. You fought hard in this game. But it came up just short. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I ate personally. I think that honestly, um, I I didn't have a lot of like leeway some of the times. But I think that with what I was able to make do with, I really ate down. Um, I think that honestly, like it was a huge blunder, like seeing my best friend be go home. <laughs> but I honestly I love like you, ever girl. since. I love you too. But ever since that point, I was like, I need to push myself. I need to like get myself back up and in the thing. And I think that not only was I like getting myself out of those slumps, but I think that I was correct in a lot of my assumptions. So I'm happy. So you had some harsh words there for Boston in your final words. What was that all about? Um, let's just say I think that when it comes down to the game, you need to have a certain level of social awareness. And I think that he lacks completely all of that. Um, but I can respect, I can respect the game. I just can't respect. <laughs> I, I can respect the game completely. I think that he did play a great game. I think that there are just certain ways that you can go about it to, you know, not come off as a complete douchebag. And it's because of things like that, that people win or lose. We will see what happens, obviously. But yeah, I can respect the game, but I don't really respect the player. So yeah. You're right. We will see what happens coming up soon. But before we get moving yeah. on with that, do you have any regrets about this game? Not really. I don't really have any regrets. I think I played it to the best of my ability. And I think that anything that really went against me was because of someone else being stupid in instead of me. Um, I think that honestly, I think I played a pretty good game. I think that um, overall, I think the one slip up I did have was during maybe like like letting the idol kind of get played. Myself and B kind of like, we fucked that up really badly. But like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because like, I think that honestly, at the end of the day, a misplay of an advantage will never define me as a player. And I think that regardless of that situation, and regardless of being on the bottom, especially after that move with B going home, I still was able to be one of the top dogs of the season. And clearly everyone loves me real good because all the conversations were practically about me. <laughs> So yeah, I have no regrets. I think I played perfectly. Well, yes. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kimmy. It was fun having you on this season. You did thank play you. your heart out, but unfortunately you are fifth place. Go sit there and join, the, a, join the jury. It's okay. It's oh my okay. gosh. Wrong way, Kimmy. I'm going, I gotta go home. I gotta go home. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> and with that, fifth place has been decided. Four still remain. Who will crown themselves as the winner of this season? Hey. Only time will tell. Oh my fucking god, I'm I'm gooped, I'm gagged, I'm just kidding, I'm actually not, like, I knew it was gonna be Kimmy or fucking Kyle, I just really wish it was Kyle, like, I'm alone in this damn game now, like, that was literally my bestie boo, um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do, like, I feel like it's kind of obvious I'm fourth, so I'm gonna have to put my entire back into this next challenge, if I win this next challenge, like, holy shit, I'll scream. I will literally scream. But, you know, that probably won't happen because we've seen my track record. I can't fucking believe this. Lone Ranger. Back to square one. Oh my god. <gasps> A boat. Oh, that bitch is in it. Never mind. False alarm. <laughs>
Bada bing, bada boom. Guys, we are in the final four. Final four, two saints, two sinners. We made it. Uh, yeah, last vote. Uh, I was the deciding vote. Uh, everybody knew that. It was gonna be 2-2 two, two regardless. I had to pick which side. Do you think, would it be bad if I like shot an arrow right behind him for the plot? I'm not saying they're stupid players, but <laughs> they haven't been making the best decisions all season long, but that works out for me. Your days are numbered, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, people. Um, someone just broke my boat. Fuck you, Wes. Ooh, yay. Ooh, yay. Ooh, Ooh yay. We're in final four. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, but, oh, but like what are these people doing? Why are I they letting like us get here? <laughs> these people are dumb. I feel like now the ball's kind of in our court. We want to take. I mean, yeah, it's uh, theoretically if unless they band together, community, yeah, which is possible. But at the very worst, we get fire. Um, I'm thinking, you know, if 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 one of us wins, they're probably just gonna vote each other, and we choose. But yeah, uh, I don't know why Boston trusted us as nope. much he did. Uh, I'm not sure if. I don't know. I feel like we should take him out, but also people I don't know. like him. So I don't know. People That's the thing. Do, everyone doesn't like him. Oh my god. I'm so glad that Kyle and I are still here. Um, that is like the main thing that I was so worried about. Um, I'm like just crossing my fingers and hoping that we could just like pull this out because I feel like from here now, like the odds are really in our favor. And I feel like now Kyle and I get to pick and choose whether we want to bring Weiss or Boston. And I don't know, it's going to be a hard decision to make, but I'm sure we will figure it out. If we keep him, Kimmy will vote for one of us. If we don't keep him, Kimmy will vote for Weiss. Yeah. So but that's just I've... one vote. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. I think yeah. we, I think we could kind of choose. At the very worst, we get fire. Uh, they'll probably vote me, and I can hopefully win fire. So mm. I, I think we could be fine either way. Yeah, I don't care who wins as long as it's me or you. So. That's what I'm saying. If it's one of them two, I'll be a little pissed. But if it's one of Great. us, I'll be happy. I really started this game being like, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm going to just play wild and get myself voted out. Because who cares? I'm just here to have fun. I'm way past my prime. I I'm not supposed to be going to these games anymore. I'm here to be that old fart to laugh at because because he, he he doesn't do this anymore. And I do this. I do this, man. It's too easy. It doesn't matter how hard I try or how hard I don't try. I make a final three. Why don't they vote me out? I don't know what boss is doing. I'm about to just vote his ass out, maybe. Uh, he's burned a lot of bridges, so uh, you know, my my heart of hearts says I win against all these people easily. You know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's it's been a good time, and uh, you know, there's only one more vote to see if your boy gets crowned the title of Soul Survivor and is given fifteen billion dollars per soccer's sources. He told me he was paying me fifteen billion dollars if I won. Welcome, Final Four, to y'all's final immunity challenge. Boston gonna have that necklace one last time. Right. And with that, it is time for y'all's final immunity challenge. For this final immunity challenge, you will begin in hell as you search a maze for boxes containing potion ingredients and numbers. You will use these ingredients to brew a fire resistance potion. Once you crawl out of hell through the lava, you will scale a mountain to reach the heavens. Once you finish climbing the mountain, you will retrieve more numbers. Finally, you'll swim up your station and complete a math puzzle. The goal is to create four numbers that add up to 1,000. First player to complete this puzzle wins final immunity. Survivor's ready? Yup. Go. They're in shulkers.
I have all four. Yeah, I've got all four as well. Seems to be everybody but Madison is ruined. Okay. How many of these will we need? Just one? Oh! Yeah, oh my god, I'm one. stuck in the wall! Fuck. Where the fuck is it? Oh no! Oh fuck it, L. You should be able to fucking sprint out of there. Oh, why isn't, why am I, I still fucking on fire? See. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I can't. Help. Okay, can't do that. Can't do that. Oh my god. I'm like, just gonna try to this. this oh, fuck! This is pissing me off. Oh my, oh my god. Holy shit. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. Holy shit. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw the fuck up. Kyle and Wyatt seem to be very similar parts of this challenge. Oh my god. What the fuck is this? Oh my gosh, this is way. I'm not supposed to keep going this way, right? Okay, wait. Right. No way. There's no way we gotta go that way. Oh Madison's stuck in hell. Okay. Story of my life. Uh, wait. I'm lost. Okay. Back we go. We'll have to go down there, <laughs> do we? That would be so cringe. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm like, just gonna try this. Oh. Oh. oh, this is there's no way oh. this is gonna be able to do. That no, be literally I see that now. Why oh, is Kyle no are having way. trouble finding the correct path? Holy fucking shit. Okay. Oh wait, now. you do that. Is that what you do? Oh, I went to I the wrong block. Oh, are you shitting me? <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess this will fill up your whole episode. Kyle has <laughs> made some progress. Uh. Wait, did I get past? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's like, uh, what, what are we supposed to do? Oh, how did I get up there? Um, oh, so my God, I'm stupid. so stupid. Yes. Kyle, the piss Kyle, where, is, where Kyle the... is extending his lead okay. at the moment. Okay, I'm where'd so... The, where'd the pissing uh, come from, Wes? Why is the okay. Boston are, are just standing there, confused? Boston gets it. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Okay. Wyatt now gets it. I'm Although killing Kyle myself. Kyle still has extended this lead pretty far. Why do you make me do these stupid <laughs> jumps? I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm throwing. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. Holy shit. Oh, this is actually difficult. No way, I hate you. Three up. One. Oh okay. my fucking god, this stupid Kyle fucking... Fuck you, sucker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This fucking Neo, are you kidding me?
No! <laughs> Not that bad of a fall. I don't even think Kyle wants to bother asking for a check. That's nowhere near a thousand. Yeah, I just <laughs> uh, Oh my oh, god, that's scary. I just threw the game. Oh, can you just finish the puzzle I so I can get I out of this hell? I'm sorry, I'm trying. Harder than it looks. Oh my fucking god, I made it to the top. Okay, got it so good. Bias is at the combo. top of the mountain. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? At least <laughs> I got up the damn mountain. Uh, yes. check. Okay, okay. And Kyle okay. has won final oh. immunity. Oh. Finally. <laughs> Good, Good job, Kyle. Man. Good Ooh. job. Thanks. Good shit. Congratulations, Kyle, on winning final immunity. Come and get it. Woo. Oh, I'm not going to take it myself. Let's go. Woo, yeah. And with that, Kyle has secured his spot in final tribal council. As for the rest of you, let's see who will join him. Head back to camp. Boom! Okay! Big, absolute gunfire! Um, <laughs> I don't know how they let me get this far. They should have known. They should have known. You can't let me get to final four. Because I'm going to get my way into final three. It's when I start kicking up the jets. And, uh, yeah, what a challenge. But my brain is is what got me here. My social game is what got me here. Uh, I, I can't believe they let me do it. <laughs> I'm down to vote either of them. I have no, like, real allegiances with either of them. Right. Because um, their plan was to beat you in the immunity and vote you out here. But obviously oh, you yeah. won it. Yeah. So, I'm like, I'm honestly, I'm fine with either of them going. Sure, so. sure. Um, do you have any thoughts? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to vote Madison out just for, uh, you know, I'm just not that kind of player. I don't think there's yeah. any point. Uh, you know, she's been, she's been loyal to me the whole time, and I want to want to repay that. Uh, but, yeah, besides that, we shall see. I think there are ups and downs to bringing Weiss or Boston. You know, I look even more like a good guy who stuck to my word with Boston uh, if I bring him in. And, you know, Weiss is probably getting... Kimmy's vote is going to get the votes of the the sinners that, that might want to go that way. But, you know, Boston made a lot of enemies, and uh, he might not get votes because of that, because he flipped on all his sinners, and people might not like him because of that. And I know the people in the game, Kimmy, don't like him and probably won't vote him. Are we fucking doing this or what? We're doing it. We're doing it. This is, this is happening. Um, I mean, even besides, like, alliance and stuff, like, I think it just makes the most sense for us to all go together. Like, no, and, I, and I and I want to. This is. I mean, this is what I wanted. Like, I, I was yeah. telling Madison. I'm like, I'm like, now, like, I hope you're not like upset about like the red thing, because like it all, it literally no. all panned out like perfectly. No, like, yeah, this this is great. And I mean, the the thing is, no matter what happened, uh, you know, Weiss has a lot of friends on the jury, and it just doesn't make. We've all kind of cut bridges. I'd rather have three people that that have kind of scorched the entire jury and they got to rethink like everything than than Weiss, who's kind of an easy out to vote. Dude, 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 dude. Uh, my jury management is probably the worst in history. <laughs> It'll, it, it won't be the dream final three, but it's the best one I can work with. My dream final three would have been Madison and Wes. I would have waffle stomped that final tribal council. I'm going to be real with you. But with Kyle there, hopefully that takes away from Madison votes and hopefully uh, uh, Madison takes away from, from some Kyle votes and I can kiss up to the jury. That's really what it's going to come down to. Oh my god, I am so happy. Me too. Me I too. was like, I was, I heard Kyle's at the top. I'm like, yes, go Kyle. And dude, I started pissing my pants when Wes was like getting really close. I was like, fuck. fuck. I know. As soon as I heard it, I was like, Weiss is in the lead. And I was like, <laughs> no, I, started, I was like crying. I know. Oh. I, um, that's why I was like, Kyle, just win already, please. No, no. I was like, Kyle, please clutch up. You're supposed to be the good one at these competitions. Right. Dude, but like, it's a done deal. Like, it's us no, three. It's, I'm not yeah. voting. Final four, final four. We unfortunately did not win the challenge. That's okay, though. Uh, obviously, I really wanted to win. I tried my best. You know, my fat ass couldn't get around the jumps. It is what it is. Uh, Kyle clutched up. Um... You know, if it would, if I had, if I had like a perfect universe, I would have won immunity, and I would have just voted out uh, Kyle here 
in all honesty. But we can't live in our perfect worlds all the time. Uh, but the worst case was Wes winning, and that did not happen. So uh, the plan is to, once again, I, I feel like I'm kind of in the middle here. It's how, how can you be the middle of Final Four? Well, I mean, as of so far, Madison and Kyle, we both had individual chats, and then we had a group chat, I think, and they are both telling me they want to keep me. Um, they could be bold-faced lying just to say, fuck you for fucking us over all season long. Let's get your ass out. One of us will win, which that's exactly what I would do if I was in their situation. Exactly. It, this is the three that it was like literally like since the merge. I know. And, and I, I love like, it. It makes matter. me so happy. Like, I hope, I hope getting, I hope like getting out red, like was not, did not make you upset because it all worked out. It no, literally all it, panned out. Like oh I gosh. said before, like it didn't make me upset that it was him. It The timing and the communication yes. is what. Yes. Yes. It was like, ugh. oh my God. I am so happy that Kyle won. I was getting really close between him and Weiss, and I was starting to get a little nervous. But if Weiss won, it, it really wouldn't have mattered. If Weiss won, I would have voted out uh, Boston. But it just so happened to work out the way that I preferred it to work out. So I'm really happy. Um, now, all Kyle and I have to do is just figure out what is best for our end game and where we think we're gonna get the most votes. Go, you should go talk to him. What should I say to Wes? Should I tell him straight up? Like, I'm probably just voting tell him, you. Just tell him you're voting me or Kyle, or if you wanna lie, you can tell the truth. I, it's totally up to you. You could lie, I don't give well, a fuck. I'm gonna, he, well, he's uh, he talked to Kyle. He's like, well, I guess we gotta do boss, or Madison. I, I don't know what he said. I'm gonna go talk to him and see what he said. You see this thing right here, baby? That's what we're going for. First fucking place. We're taking this crown. We're taking it home, baby. We are taking this number one. This is me right here. Number one, B Korth, Bossy, Boston, the number one sinner. I will be the last sinner standing. We are taking this fucking crown. Saints for a sinner, season two. G come on, the sinners always gotta win. One, Boss is just gonna probably be pissy and not vote for us if we don't bring him. Oh, absolutely. And so that's a vote for Weiss. And then Weiss is gonna get Kimmy's vote. Um, and yeah, it's gonna get all the people from that side. Boston has pissed a lot of people off. Um, I'm a little worried that I do think people are gonna respect the fact that he put himself in the middle for like three votes. Like that's that's pretty impressive gameplay. Well, I'm gonna talk it down. So don't right. Um, talk it down. <laughs> but <laughs> besides that, I think yeah, I agree. I think having Boston there is the better choice. It's our best bet. I'm feeling nervous, but at the same time, I'm feeling pretty confident because I trust Kyle. Uh, my issue is Boston could totally like flip and make us go to rocks here. Like Boston and Kyle are talking right now. So I feel like if Boston brings up anything about me saying that he might vote me, Kyle will tell me. So as long as I don't hear anything from them, like I think we're locked in, we're good. Cause I think Kyle will tell me. So, okay. So, I mean, what is our game? I mean, we, we can only vote for Madison. I, I was going to say, know? the only thing we can really do is vote Madison. That's her. And how to be a 2-2. Two, two. Madison said that she I have most no likely idea. voting you. But, like, I, I, I don't know what fire making is. Because, like, we need to know, like, before that shit happens. Coming back from this challenge, I am defeated. I knew not getting Kyle out, he would end up winning this damn Final Four. And now he's literally in the finale. It's whatever. It's fine. I'm I'm just proud of myself that I made it to the top of that damn mountain and I made it. I saw the puzzle. I saw the damn puzzle. And that's all I care about. Like like yes, I got up there, looked at it, and he got it right. And what? But I'm proud of my parkour skills. Like the old me could never. I f I just feel like we can maybe somehow get them to not vote together. Like, I feel like Madison gets say, if they really manage... emotional. You know what I mean? Yeah. Madison I feel like gets... if Madison <sighs> votes me and Kyle votes you, yes, and we yes, vote you her. Yes, yes, like, that's what I'm saying. Time. Yes, I know. Either way, as long as we don't vote, like, as long as we vote together, it doesn't fucking matter. Like, yeah, right. we'll have to I go fire making. Right now, like, yeah, I will 100% do Madison, like, no. fully. As for Weiss, I did have a chat with him. Uh, pretty much, he wants to vote together. I know he, him and Kyle talked that, you know, Kyle's telling him that I'm not I'm not going to vote Madison, so it's between you two. 
So I told Wes, I'm like, hey, like we, I guess we got to vote together. Like we gotta, we gotta vote Madison together. He's like, yeah, I'm down for it. Which I don't know. What, I don't know if he's gonna do that. Maybe he's just gonna vote me. We're gonna vote each other. I don't know. Or maybe I vote Madison and tie the vote. I don't know. Like, you know, if if they do, if they do vote me, like, I mean. I could I could be voting myself out here if they if uh, Kyle and Madison are both voting me and Wes votes Madison but I vote uh, Wes I could be two one wanting myself out you know that's a possibility but at okay. least at least we're trying everything we can because there's not much you can do at the four you know what I mean but this, this is our last hurrah like this is all we have left like and if it works we I think we can turn it out. No, exactly, exactly. And I'm, I I just feel like even Madison, like, like I remember I was saying, I was like, I don't know, like getting Madison out might not be like the worst like thing to happen, you know? I'm pretty sure Madison is voting me. Like, that's just straight up. I'm going to pray to God that Kyle doesn't. And even if he does, I need to pray that Boston will vote with me. Because at least, at least that will give me a chance to go up against Madison and Fire. I don't know what the fuck Fire is, but based on her track record, I feel like I can actually beat her. I think I'm gated or losing votes either way. I feel pretty strong. I feel like I play the best game by a mile out of these people, uh, but you never know. Maybe someone really likes Weiss enough, or maybe someone thinks Boston played this immaculate game by playing the middle. Maybe. Madison's social game, people think it was just so much better than mine or something. I'm not sure, uh, but I'm here, and uh, man, why'd they let me get here? That's crazy! That was crazy. Congratulations, <laughs> Final Four, on being here. Upper, yeah. even more congratulations to Kyle on winning Final Immunity. Kyle, how's it feeling to be secured in FTC? Uh, it feels great. Uh, like I said, at, at Merge, I there hasn't been a tribal that I haven't got votes at that I didn't have immunity. And so being able to not get votes for the very last time is uh, is nice, because I'm sure these little goobers would, would try to vote me out again. Wise, as someone who was pretty openly close to Kimmy, last tribal must have hurt. So how are you trying to adjust to that now being in four without her? Yeah, I feel like without her here, I'm definitely alone. Um, I'm so pissed because I got so close to winning that damn challenge. I mean, not really, but like, I got there at least. I got to the damn puzzle. That's all I care about. I did the damn parkour. But I feel like at this point, I'm kind of just trying to pull everything out and like do whatever I can to make it to those final three chairs because honestly, on paper and pencil, it's not looking good for me right now. Madison. On the contrary to Wise, you have been close to Kyle for most of this game, and it's great that Kyle is safe, but you don't have immunity. Does that worry you, or are you more so excited for Kyle and like your odds here? Of course I am excited for Kyle. Uh, does it worry me a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. It does worry me a little bit. But um, like I said last Tribal, I have trust and faith in the people who... Uh, are gonna do the right thing that they will do the right thing so no i'm not too worried lastly boston so it was pretty out in the open last tribal that you were the quote-unquote decider now that you're sitting here at final four do you think you made the right decision i uh, i mean i guess this vote will tell if i did make the right decision you know it definitely high emotions high stakes last tribal but you know i went with my gut and i i feel like this i feel like last decision or last tribal I made the right call and I'm just hoping that, you know, the people around me decide to keep me around. And with that, it's time to vote. Madison, you're up first. Glad to be in the final three. How the hell did they let me get here? <laughs> You know, this, this really sucks, um, but it doesn't. All right, I will go tally the votes.
All right, I have tallied the votes. Since this is the final four, no idols can be played. I will read the votes. First vote, Wise. Naturally. Second vote, Madison. Mm-hmm. Third vote, Wise. Fourth vote. And the last person voted out of Minecraft Survivor Saints vs. Sinners, Wise. Fucking hell, Boston. Okay. Sorry, man. It's okay. okay. Oh, I need a damn thing. Well, it was a good run. I mean, honestly, I feel like, Kyle, you're about to win the damn game. Madison, maybe I'll throw you a pity vote to give you um, second place. We'll see. Wouldn't be no pity. Wise, it's been an honor having you. You've made it almost as far as you can in this game. However, you can't just short. You try this token. Yeah. Anyways, don't try to step to me. Congratulations on y'all making the final three. It was head back, inevitable. Head back to camp and celebrate. We did it. Hey, we get like we food. Like, three. do we get a feast? You know, I had a really fun time playing this. Um, I made it so much farther than I thought I was going to. I literally thought it was gonna be first boot. I'm sorry I couldn't pull it out. I really was hoping Boston was gonna like save my ass and give me a fighting chance, but here we are. I'm really happy with what I did, though. Wes! Uh, what a day, what a day. What happened? Come on up here, come on up here, Wes. Uh. So, well. Wes, unfortunately, you got sent home right before FTC. Um, I got some questions for you. Yeah. Um, you were the last remaining IT girl of the season. Did you see any way of surviving that round after Kimmy left? Honestly, I feel like the moral the morale that it was low once kimmy went i kind of like like we saw i kind of expected to go home next i even told kimmy i was like if you go at five i'm going at four um i do think if they let me in the final three like all my friends would have just voted for me to win but i for a moment i had a chance and i think if boston let me go to fire with madison i could have had a even better chance but clearly that didn't happen so here we are so, Wise, you wrote Kyle's name down five times this season. What, what, what was it about Kyle that made you want to keep voting for him time and time again? It's like he kept saying, who let me get this far? I really was trying to get him out, but I just feel like of the three sitting there, he's obviously, in my eyes, one of the more well-rounded players, I guess. Um, and I just think that people we're always like, oh, we'll get him out next. We'll get him out next. I was trying. I really did. But it didn't work out. All right. And finally, Wise, did you think you were going to make it this far in the season or no? Oh, hell no. I really, I truly, I remember like telling you, I was like, if I go home first, like, I'll, I'll be so embarrassed. And I almost did, like, because I, like, I can't, I can't. But I'm really proud that I made it to top four. I would have never in a million years, like, thought I would get here. I just wanted to make merge, honestly, and here I am. Here I am. All right, Wes, it was so much fun having you play this season, but unfortunately you just couldn't pull it off. Uh, go ahead and join the jury. Thank you. Let me sip hey, this tea now. Daddy. <sighs> and with that, we go from yeah. four to three, our final <laughs> three. How will this play out in the end? Let's see. Get it, oh, wow, we get made it. the final three. Get hype, get hype. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Not that bitch trying to step to me. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck was that about? Yeah, she really Maybe I'll throw you a pity vote? Like, it wouldn't be pity. He should have been gone a long fucking time ago. So, nobody can take out the original diva, Weiss. Okay, and you wanted to be all snappy, maybe you'll throw me a pity vote, bitch. There ain't no fucking pity here. Because I done a lot, unlike you, that you were just sheeping Kimmy around the whole time. I made moves and I played my game the way I wanted to. I don't think you could say otherwise. I am so happy that I'm at the end with Kyle and Boston, like we originally had planned since the beginning of Merge. And I ain't gonna let nobody talk down to me. I'm here. Where are you? You're in jury. And that's all. Period. I mean, we talked about this for a while, so uh, it's, it's I mean, good that it all came true. Just had to make it happen, you know? Had to make it happen. Congrats, you know? Best yeah. of luck. Oh, what's happening here? Though. 
Woo. Yeah. Wait, spin me. Let's fucking go. What did I tell you guys? I told you we are making it all the way to the fucking end. We did it. We're in the final three. I'm very hyped up. Uh, I'm the only sinner on the board here. Uh, I am just, I'm so excited. I went through this game with zero votes cast against me, and I was only immune one time during the merge. I don't even know how that's possible. Even at the final four, they, I even got Wes to not vote me. Like, yeah, is he gonna be pissed a little bit? But I went through this game with zero votes. You might not like me. You might not respect all my lying, but you gotta respect the hustle and the gameplay and like the zero votes cast against me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. Good job, guys. We did. That it. was so cool. I feel good. I I think I've played a big social game. B's probably the only person in the jury that I wasn't working with or talking to extensively. Um, that was just because we were against each other the whole time. Immunities. I won two. That's pretty awesome. And strategically, I think I, people are already just seeing me as as the front runner. I mean, I'm already being told I'm probably gonna win. I'm, you know, I've I've been targeted all this time. It's despite being targeted since the very first Murphu, they couldn't get me out. And not getting me out is everyone's downfall. You gotta take me out. You don't take me out, you lose the game. Uh, and so I, I'm here. I I little a little crazy that I made it, but. Uh, you know, it's time to see. I'm not gonna, you know, just because Boston, my boy, and, and Madison's my number one, doesn't mean I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fight for for the right to win this game. Congratulations, y'all, making the final three. It is time for the hardest part of the game, which is pleading your case to the jury. This is the final tribal council of the season. Y'all three will be giving a quick statement to the jury to explain why you should win and then the jury will have their chance to ask some pretty tough questions to y'all and then y'all will get some closing statements and then we will decide a winner and with that madison you're up first oh um i definitely did not come prepared for this but like hi everybody you all know who i am i know it's been a while but um, I would say the best way to plead my case is, as most of you know, I've played this game all based on loyalty and in social games like Survivor, Big Brother, it's kind of hard to uh, fully play a loyal game, but I pride myself on playing a loyal game and anybody who I've made promises to, I've kept. Um, if I uh, didn't want you there, uh, you either knew it or you heard about it from someone else and I really didn't lie too much. Uh, I really didn't do anybody dirty. Um, any votes that I wanted to get people gone, like, they were gone. Uh, I initiated a lot of votes where uh, I thought some people were threatening. And I got people along on board with me to do those things. And uh, I tried to play as a leader, but kind of under the radar leader. All right. Thank you, Madison. Kyle, you're up. All right. Uh Hey, Jerry. Uh, it's it's good to see you all again. Uh, I think the two most important things to a Survivor game are uh, the, the three pillars of Survivor. So, you know, the outwit, outplay, outlast, strategy, social, uh, strategic, whatever, you, however you look at that, uh, which I can get into why I feel like I fulfilled the best avenue of all three of those things uh, in questions. Um, and the other thing is just adaptability. I think some people don't adapt and that's why they get voted out and some people don't need to adapt they're able to play a game and get to the end uh, but while receiving votes at almost every tribal council uh, but never enough to actually take me out I maneuvered this game in a way that I believe no one else did and uh, this season no one else could uh, and was able to get myself despite having pressure every single vote and so due to that adaptability due to the relationships and all the skills that I brought to this game I believe I played the best game and would love your vote. That would be awesome. Uh, thank y'all. All right, and finally, Boston, use the floor. All righty, all righty. Um, I just want to first off say I had a great time with all, with all of you. Uh, I've never done one of these, so it was a fucking blast. Thank you guys for being part of it. I do want to say that I feel like for a big portion of you on the jury, I did 
in some way did you dirty or lie to you or did you wrong and for that i do apologize um i hope you guys know that it is a game and i was only the relationships i have with you guys were real i just i had to do what's best for me and i played this game with my head only so i will answer any questions you guys have about the moves i made or the lies i told i'm an open book now <laughs> and i want to clear anything up because i i do feel like there's a little bit of tension uh with my game and i get that though because i did screw over some people but i want to clear anything you guys have up um i want to explain my game in full detail if you guys have questions i'll answer everything thank you and with that it now turns over to the jury b you have the floor okay well i just want to like start off by addressing the jury and um i can't help but like laugh like the fact that like the brain cells were not there um you know all the quote unquote middle players got out right after me after stating that they had an easier time pot uh potentially taking madison or kyle out um and now they're here um truth is like i was always going to come for kyle and madison so they really did fumble the bag but speaking of the both of you i want to congratulate the both of you on making it to the final two <laughs> and to the other one um congratulations on the appearance check madison i want to ask you the first question Okay. Um, okay, so to me, obviously, I got out pretty damn early, so um, I really need, like, time to, like, for you to explain your game to me, because mm -hmm. to me, it was, like, a lot of My Little Pony, a lot of uh, friendship rainbows, and although it brought you to that point, I always looked at Kyle as the more dominant person in your alliance than you. Um, however, I don't want to shut you out, because I do mm -hmm. know that you had a game. So I want to give you the opportunity to tell me something that you had over Kyle. Honestly, no offense, but I don't think you could be like any more wrong with that, saying that Kyle was more dominant in the game than me. Um, I think Kyle, yes, Kyle's a good social player. Kyle uh, is a good competition player, but I think that I had more of a better social game. Um, no offense to Kyle, but like, I, I tried to make those relationships with other people and branch out. And at the end of the day, yes, Kyle and I were coming back to each other, but that was because I knew that that was a relationship that would help take me to the end. Because if he was good at competitions, I was good at social, that two together was gonna help me get to the end. And I um, I know this might be like a little like a bit of like a sour subject, but I was the person who pushed for you to go. I was the person who pushed for Kimmy to go. I was the person who pushed for a bunch of other people to go. I can't remember everyone's name off the top of my head, but that was like the main thing because I knew you guys were good social players. I knew you guys were good in competitions and that to me was very threatening. But uh, I think that my social, uh, my social abilities and the way I can push people to do the things that I want to do is really what got me here and not other people. Um, Kyle, you know, like I said, I was out pretty early, but from talk from the jury and, you know, just like people saying whatever they got to say. Um, do you think you dragged Madison to the end? And, you know, do you think that you played a better game than Madison and how? Yeah, I think uh, dragging Madison is definitely not a fair way of putting it. I think she played her own game, uh, as I obviously did. Um, it was it was definitely mutually beneficial. Uh, it, she wasn't sitting around doing nothing. Uh, and But did I bring her to the end because I thought it was most beneficial for my game? Absolutely. I mean, she was a day one for me, and she voted with me. And despite me being getting votes every single time, I always knew I had this number. Um, I knew Madison was probably never going to vote against me, especially after the Neptune vote. Uh, there was a relationship we had that was, even though I know I'm a threat, I always have two votes. Uh, and that, that was a huge power in the game. I do believe I played a better game. I think I had to deal with the most adversity out of anyone in this game by a mile. Like, I, I was voted for every single time. I wasn't able to coast. I wasn't able to just be like, oh, I want to push this person because I want them out. It was, who am I going to vote and what numbers am I going to get to save myself? Because if I didn't do that and work my ass off every single vote, I'm not staying. All right. Well, thank you. Um, just want to say congratulations again to the final two. You two are amazing. And although Saint will be winning the game, um, the center's had more fun. Neptune, you have the floor. You're up. Alrighty. So, um... I'm actually going to start with Boston for this one. Um, Boston, we never really had a 
working relationship and while i knew that you were you know kind of playing the middle it just kind of felt like i mean I, i'm gonna i'm gonna level it with you and be like completely honest like when i got on discord today i completely forgot that you were even in the final five so like for me that speaks volumes because i don't think that we had any kind of relationship at all no working relationship no social relationship no nothing so like, how am I supposed to give you my vote if I couldn't even remember what your what your name was on the season? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it was it was unfortunate how we were dealt because I think you went I think you went out second or third once merge started and third. we started on opposing tribes and you know how chaotic the game gets like especially like after tribal like everyone's hopping in calls and we only had like two or three rounds to build that so yeah you probably have a better connection with the two sitting next to me just because you guys were all together longer and you get you know you have, you guys have your history um i feel like i feel like i could have done better uh at least reaching out to you talking to you uh while you were in the game but i hope you not like i guess remembering me doesn't deter you from voting me and like at least acknowledging the game that i played um i was always active every vote I feel like I either swayed the vote or was the one set, kind of the one sending the person home. All right, uh, Madison, uh, you know I hey. adore you. You know that we had a great relationship in the game. Um, you put yourself in harm's way for me during mm -hmm. Fury when you really didn't have to do that. I mean, had you voted me out, you still would have been in the best position on our tribe. And so from a personal level, I really appreciate that. Of course. But I, I do need some more from you in terms of your strategy, because I feel like, you know, you're a, you're a fantastic social player. You know, physically, I don't see that as too important, but I mm -hmm. want to know, like, what was your strategy in, in this game? Like, you know, what, what was it that set you apart strategically from your other two competitors here? Okay, so my strategy coming to this game, like, it was definitely, like, it was a little flawed, yeah, I will, like, agree to that because this i i've never done a survivor before this is all very new to me i'm more of a big brother player so coming into this it uh was a little bit different and harder for me to navigate my way around because this is not what i'm used to um but going into this i knew that i had to make a, a core group of people that i could trust and i know like a lot of people flock to me uh, a lot of people would come up to me and be like, I like your energy. I want to work for you, with, work with you. And I would be like, great, that's perfect. I love to hear that. And then when I had that group of people, I was easily uh, able to weave in and out of that group and figure out, hey, maybe this person's being dishonest. Maybe this, maybe this, maybe this. And I think um, me being like, oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for this. I don't know if this and that. I think me like playing up like the nice girl act constantly kind of helped me get to the where I was because I wanted people to pity me. And Kyle. All right, so one bit that I'm kind of curious about is, you know, at look, at Final Four, I'll be completely honest, I thought Madison was a goner. I thought you would have voted out Madison and taken Boston and, and Weiss to the end. And at least in my mind, that would be the easiest path to victory for you. So what I want to know is, you know, was your decision that night, was it based on just loyalty to Madison? And is that the only person that you ever expressed loyalty to was Madison? Sure. Um, I think there's a potential that taking Madison uh, out there would be an easier win. Uh, I think there's an argument to be had that, you know, Weiss has a lot of friends on the jury that are not me. Um, and so you could argue there's, you know, two, three votes that probably are more likely to not go my way. Um, yeah, I played a lot of the game with Madison. I also didn't play a good amount of the game with Madison. Uh, but it wasn't just loyalty. I think a lot of the success of my game was being able to show the power of being a target and working with allies and uh, showing that it's not just loyalty, but the strategy in having a number one. Taking them out right before then, in my experience, it just doesn't work. It leaves a bad taste in their mouth. It leaves a bad taste in the jury's mouth. There always seems to be this, you made a mistake. You did something that was just against the kind of game you played. I think being uh, solid in the kind of game you play, being consistent and being smart with all of that, 
is really important uh, to just the perception of who you are in the final three. All right, thank you. Also, I want to say, haha, Jerry, LMAO, you voted me out when literally Kyle would have been voted out if you had voted for him. Thermal, it's your turn. Come on down. So, Boston, I feel like you played the middle the best out of everyone here. I think you were able, since you didn't get any votes, you were able to make it so that you were basically not the target at times, and you were able to kind of nudge the votes a certain way. Um, but I think what you lacked was, you know, the social, like, doing these moves. Were they good moves, or were they just moves that pissed people off? Madison, I think you had the better social game of the three, uh, being nice with a lot of people and able to um, basically kind of just make yourself... If, if it wasn't for Kyle, I think that because Kyle was the bigger target, you were able to kind of use him as a shield in that sense, but also you had these social connections to where it would always be Kyle and not you during votes. Uh, and then Kyle, I feel like you were, you were able to do something that I was not able to do, where I was a target, like constantly pre-merge, and I tried to... I basically didn't use my target status to get me further in the game, rather I played a little bit too risky at times and i think that took me out i feel like that was your game every time i did flip back and forth yes people were upset with me and i get that but the fact that they never like were like okay he fucked me over like the fact that they every time were willing to work with me again goes to show that the move did make sense and they needed me i positioned every vote so i could keep both sides at bay but both sides always needed my number. So I, me and Red, we could always flow to whatever side needed the vote this time. And that allowed me to always avoid target, always avoid being a threat. I never had my name thrown out there just because people needed me. You can't vote out the person that the vote you need. And I always positioned myself so I could be that one person that you need. And that allowed me to go to whatever side I wanted to that gave me the most options out of anyone in this game. I want to fight and say that I feel like I had the most agency of anyone. I feel like Madison may be taking a bit more credit because yes, Madison did one out similar people than I did, but that would only happen if I wanted to make that move. And there were several times where I flip flopped back on with Kyle and Madison and without them, uh, but they needed me. Every time I fucked them over, they could have easily just gone to the other side, work with them, but I did damage control. I did uh, threat management. I made sure every single time that I got back in good graces and I could work with them again and I could do what I needed to do to get to the end of the game. Uh, Madison? So yeah, I definitely did have a, a good social game and I'm glad that some people could recognize that, but I'm just gonna go back on Boston's statement for a second. Wes, Jeff, Kimmy, and B, that was something that I, initiated and worked with with kyle uh i don't know why boston thinks maybe because he wanted them out he never initiated those votes those were something that i collectively came with kyle about so i'm not sure why he thinks mm. he started that that's not um, true I throw it, it definitely true. is true and i let you speak and i didn't interrupt you so don't what? interrupt me so, he never initiated any of that, so I'm not going to let him sit here and take credit for things that I know I initiated. I did that, and I could have done it without his numbers, because my social game was good, and if I wanted someone to vote with me, they voted for me. Hence why the people are sitting where they are. I guess that's all for me, because I do think that we need to get to other jurors, and uh, good luck. Uh, my vote could go to any three of you. Um, I don't think... I do think Boston's game is very underrated, so we'll see if if he's able to pick it up and uh, further jury questions. And uh, yeah. All right, Jeffels, it's your turn. To uh, let the three of them know that I'm proud of them for getting this far, and that the only thing I really want out of your answers uh, is the truth. And yeah, just good luck. I don't know what's going on, what's gonna be going on. Moving on to Red. Red, you can now fly down here and. You have the floor. I think for my first question, I, I just want to say this to you, Boston. You, I feel like at the final seven and before, you were playing the second best game. Obviously, I was playing the first best game. But <laughs> I think your game was insanely strong, and you definitely were thinking very far ahead every single round. And then you voted me out. I'm like, okay, that's a choice. I can see the logic. I, I see the vision, maybe. 
But then after I went home, I feel like you made every single vote after that just didn't make any sense to me. I was so confused of what your endgame plan was. Because I remember I told you like, oh, Madison's this massive threat in this game. Well, yeah, she has a lot of great connections in this game. And I was like so confused on like your thought process of your endgame plans in a sense. So if you want to bring me through your, you know, plan to vote me out at final yeah. seven. And then just your votes after, like, what made you go this way? What was your final three scenario yeah. that you were looking for and all that? Yeah, so, um, I, confessionals, no, I mean, I talk a fuck ton. Uh, I totally acknowledge your game. I mean, almost at, almost right at, or right after the failed Kimmy blindside pre-merge, I was saying, I'm like, damn, Red is, Red is playing the game that I need to play. You know what I mean? And I feel like you and I were side by side honestly controlling which vote wh or which way it went every single time for the merge you and i nothing would happen if unless it was okay with you and me we were the most important votes so i realized this and at final i start prepping i start planting the seeds with madison i'm like i don't know if we should keep red around like i i was just i didn't i didn't want to do it to you but i knew that you were easily playing the best game so when it came time the final six uh when it was the split vote, it, it was originally, that was not even the plan. I think, I think everybody just kind of wanted to plop the votes on Kimmy and just hope for the best. I know Kyle was pushing that because he did have the necklace that round, which makes sense. But I was the one that, guys, we have the numbers. Let's split the two, two. Let's just be safe. And I, I was really afraid that you were not going to go through with it and just vote, put your vote on Kimmy, just like, just just because like I, I knew you were thinking about that but i had i had to take you out there because i did realize the game you were playing it was we i if i sat next to you at the final three there's just no way i could beat you you had a stronger physical game and the way you can talk to people is just phenomenal congrats to you three on making the final three thank um, you wish you all the best kimmy you have the floor <laughs> Okay, so I mean, first thing I'll say is thank you for all the compliments. I really appreciate it tonight, guys. Um, so, okay, I want to start with Madison because mm -hmm. I'm just going to go in the row. So I feel like, not going to lie, we don't really have the best social connection. And I remember hearing you say in the Spanish Tribal Council that you had a lot of social connections or you were mainly a social player, but we didn't start talking until like Final Eight. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of felt a bit casted aside because I re do remember trying to reach out to you like final 11, final 10, and I would just not get anything back. Like, and like, I remember earlier in this tribal council that you said that if you wanted somebody to go out, you would probably get them out. And yet I was voted three times by you before I went home. Um, absolutely. Um, you're right. I could have definitely made a more, uh, a better effort to reach out to you and try to build that connection to you. Um, but I think the way that I looked at it the most was that I knew you were a target and I knew that you were a good player and I knew that you wanted, I wanted you out. And I kept hearing from other people that you wanted me out. So to me, the way that I looked at it was like, okay, well, I want her out. She wants me out. I don't think that there's really uh, any benefit in me even bothering to try to build a relationship with her. But I also think a part of it was that, um, it, like I said, it just gets busy, you know, I'm trying to talk to so many different people at the same time So it does it does get very complicated, but could I have made a better effort? Absolutely a hundred percent and that's my fault that I didn't Anyways, okay, Kyle um, no. I really do like your game Obviously, we were in the threats alliance together and I think that you did play a really good game I am having a if a iffy time kind of understanding it a bit because I think that even throughout a lot of answers, like this is just my opinion, so maybe if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I just feel like it's kind of the easiest answer to possibly make. Like it's just very like, it's a bit safe. So I kind of want to see, you know, I am a sinner after all, and you were a saint. So I kind of want to see how you were able to play more like a sinner and branch out from just the confines of being assigned to one tribe. So how did you kind of play more like a sinner as this game went on? The people I started making alliances with, the only the only saint long term I worked with really was Madison. Uh, I was all about working with you and Red, and obviously Boston worked with us to the end. Hell, I had a strong alliance with Oxy for uh, whenever we went to exile together. Me and Oxy were talking to get, uh, together. The only reason he got 
cut for you know from my perspective was uh he was too big of a liability but like all the people i wanted to work with were not people i saw off the bat jeff was himself even said it like i i, I broke his little heart uh i and i said it from the very beginning i, I should never have been a saint if anyone knows me i don't know why i'm on the saints tribe um i was constantly going against who thought they were originally my tribe uh besides madison the only people i worked with uh, were, were the, the sinners i liked the team that had more fun uh and the second i hit merge i was thinking how do i how do i spice things up and how do i work with the people uh that you wouldn't expect how, how do i work with the big threats the kimmies the reds the oxies <laughs> Uh, how do I get my name in there so I can have more fun? Okay, Boston. Hi. I Hello. am not upset personally. Like, I don't take this shit personally. It's whatever. Like, it's a game to me, so I couldn't give two shits. I just know I'm better than Teddy, and that's all that matters. <laughs> um, so, basically, I guess I'm having a hard time deciphering this because I thought it was very apparent, at least at Final Five, that the obvious people who should have gone home were Kyle and Madison. And you agreed with me and like really were hyping it up, went out of your way the extra mile to push that. And I guess I'm just kind of wondering, like this has been a common reoccurrence with you the entire season practically, where you would work with these people and just like pat them on the back while you're sending them out the door, lying straight to their face before booting them. And it just kind of like, it's almost like reverse jury management where it's like you're just making people matter and mm. i think there's a way to play the social game without upsetting so many people like going the extra mile to lie to their face mm. and i guess i'm just wondering like i don't even know like it's just it baffles me kind of like how it was played or like why do you think that it was worth it to go the extra mile to kind of just like lie in people's faces when you said yourself you got zero votes the entire game and weren't targeted the entire game why did you think you needed to take that extra step to really kind of like rub it in a person's face at, before they were going out the door and giving them that false hope yeah i get that i think i i think you're talking about your tribal because i know we did or i'm I, talking I, about a few <laughs> yes no no i i get that but i want i do want to talk about your tribal um I knew after that, after the move on red, that I needed you out, but I didn't know if I wanted to do it five or four, but for like my hit list, you were at the top. And those conversations we did have, like, yes, I did want Kyle out. Like Madison is a big threat. I, those were real conversations. Like everybody, everybody was playing a good game at that point. Um, I, I did, I did say during one of the tribal confessions or, or during like one of the uh, questions that like I made up my mind before and that is partially true. Madison and I had a talk and I was trying to prepare her for cutting Kyle next and she just would not budge. She would never vote out Kyle. Even if it meant she was gonna lose the game to him, she told me that she was gonna ride with him to the end. She wants to stick true to the final three that me, Kyle and Madison had and at that point, I did have second thoughts and I almost, I told Wes at Tribal, I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to actually vote Kimmy out here. I might do Kyle. So I want you to know, and Wes can say, Wes can tell you, I was messaging him. I did make my choice at Tribal uh, only because of the conversation I had with Madison. And it was, it was a really tough one for me. I'll save the rest of my thoughts for the reunion, but best of luck guys. And one last thing, please do not disappoint me with these final speeches because I will be thoroughly disappointed. Like my thoughts are changing every fucking second for what I want to do. So keep this shit up and bitch, you might not expect the person who wins to win. Like keep it the fuck up. Like, all right, wise, you have the floor. I'll just start over here. Okay, Boston, um, we had that final two since day one. Um, so I kind of wish you gave me a fighting chance to do fire against Madison like you said you would. Um, but with that said, I'm going to repay the favor and just not give you a fighting chance for the win tonight. Um, so now we move on to Kyle. Anyways. Um, Kyle, I have no bad blood for you um, voting me out. Like, I get it. You kind of wanted the easy win here. I would have done the same thing, like, if it was available. Um, I'm happy for you and hope you have it in your heart to donate um, at least like $5 of the prize fund to me since I did give you five out of the six <laughs> votes each tribal. Yes! Like, good point. <laughs> this is a good argument. I like it. And finally, Madison, girl, girl, 
I'm gonna be so honest, like kind of what Kimmy said, um, you talked a lot about your social game, but um, I think we literally only spoke like once. Um, so I kind of just want you to tell me like why I should vote for you over Kyle right now. Like this is your moment to be like right. a rightful sinner and like sway all of us up there, like <laughs> not to give like a, this season a predictable win. So um, I could understand why it may look to you that maybe I didn't have as strong as a social game that I'm pushing. But just because my social game didn't extend to you and Kimmy doesn't mean that my social game wasn't strong. Um, like I said to Kimmy before, uh, I was under the impression that both of you were targeting me. So to me, uh, I didn't really see much of a point of even trying to build a relationship with you because I knew I wanted to eventually uh, sooner rather than later get both of you out. But, you know, it didn't it didn't work as easy as I thought it would, but nothing really in this game can come easy for anybody um i definitely did extend uh my social game a lot um i was very close with uh almost all of the members of my original tribe um like i said before it definitely gets more difficult when you go to merge because a lot of people are grouped up already okay and then uh, real quick is there anything you did like without kyle this game or were you just a duo the whole time well i think you could really say that for anybody i think a lot of people had duos uh I had a duo with Kyle, um, Boston worked really close with Red, you worked really close with Kimmy, so I think that anybody, nobody in the game of Survivor, you can't really make moves by yourself because this is a numbers game. Neptune was close with Thermal, like he said. This is a numbers game. So yeah. did I push ideas? Absolutely. Uh, could I do things on my own? No. I don't think anybody could do things on their own in, in this game. Um, it would be very difficult, but you wouldn't be able to get the votes so I, I i pushed for a lot of things that maybe people didn't necessarily want to do and i think that and myself i did on my own and i think things that i did on my own were pushing my uh social ability outside of me and kyle i talked to a lot of people it wasn't just kyle that i was talking to i extended my social game so i think that you could say i did by myself but uh no in the sense of making moves on my own no it's very difficult in a game of numbers to make moves on your own thank you you Thank ate you. that, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all for me. Thank you, Jury, for your questions. However, we're turning it back over to the finalist. We're gonna go in reverse order here. It's time to give your closing statements. Boston, you'll go first. First and foremost, I came into this game not knowing anybody. I didn't even know soccer. Like, I came in, no social connections, and I knew I had to play hard. I had to play hard if I wanted to stay. I had to play my utmost ability if I wanted to make a deep run in this game. You know, other people like connections that, you know, it, it, it's just, hey, we know each other, like we're, we're together. I didn't have that. So already I was a little bit behind, but instantly I made up for it. Uh, I feel like every twist or every part or aspect of Saints for Sinners, you know, I fulfilled, especially with the twists. Uh, you know, day one, I spawn on the beach and I know this didn't even ever come into play, but I did have I did find this at the wishing well. Me and Oxy, I literally rode Oxy's head over to the wishing well. Oh my God. And we both grabbed the advantage at the same time. And it's it's just another uh, sinner's tribal ticket, whatever this is. I kept that to myself, obviously. All right, thank you, Boston. Kyle, you're up. At the end of the day, um, I think every player at the beginning of a season and at Merge are given a, a deck of cards, a hand that they have to deal with and you play with that dealt hand. I played with the hand that was, you're gonna get votes every time, how the fuck are you gonna get to the end? Um, not a fun hand to get, uh, unless you're me and you, 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 want to, you want to thrive in that chaos. Uh, I didn't get the opportunity to say, hey, saints, let's all work together and band together and get to the end. I said, what are some scummy behind the, behind the shadows uh, deals and alliances I could make? What, what are some big threat alliances that can help me get to final five? What are some some side characters that I can add to my roster for a couple votes? Uh, what are some scummy uh, conversations I can have to get people out? Um, I scrapped and I worked and I dealt with 10 times more than either of these people had to deal with to get to the end. Uh, me being here gave two of these some of these people a much, much easier ride. Uh, and you could say that's good on them. They used me as a shield. Um, but I don't know what's more impressive. Maybe to you, using a shield is more impressive, but being a shield and using other people to get to the end as a shield, 
is something you never see. You don't see people like me get to the end. You have people in these jury stands saying, you should have taken him out. We all knew he was going to get to the end if you don't take him out. I told y'all. And if you're saying I told you so to every jury member because you were right about getting some guy out and you could never do it, to me, there isn't much more of a strong game to get to the end that way. Thank you, okay. Kyle. Madison, Oops. you're up. There, everyone sitting here, in my opinion, I believe has played a good game and there's no denying that. But uh, in some aspects more than others, um, I think that I have played a better game in some of the ways. Um, just as Boston said, he came into this game with no connections and he's never played a survivor before. Uh, that was the same for me. I came into this game knowing nobody. Maybe I've heard of some people, but I really didn't know anybody. Um, and I've also never played a survivor before. So this was, this was really, really new to me. If someone knew that I was targeting them, they knew, like they would know, but yeah, I still ended up surviving week after week after week because people would bring my name up and be like, oh, Madison's a threat. And people would be like, oh, just push her to the side, push her to the side because they think I'm just like this sweet, like little innocent thing maybe, but like that obviously isn't the case because everyone kept pushing me to the side and ultimately it got me to where I am today. I feel like that proves just how much I was a target in the end because like I said, I'm sitting here. But um, I really hope that any of the questions that I was asked helps you uh, figure out that I am the best person to win this game, that I'm coming in here as a newbie and I'm coming here as someone who can't win challenges and who didn't know anybody and this is my first Survivor game and I am very proud of myself for how far I gone. So I really hope that proves to you why I am deserving to win. Um, I really appreciate all of your help to getting me here because I wouldn't be here without each and every single one of you because all of the moves I had to work with each and every single one of you. Thank you, Madison. With that, jury, the power turns over to you. You will now each go cast a vote for the winner. Oxy, you're up first. I'm still like so indecisive. Ooh, fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> All right, here's my vote for Kyle. Um, the snakes in the grass were not so ass after all. I was going into this final tribal council voting one way, but I promised that I'd be fair and I would listen to these people and hear them out, and someone clearly delivered. My vote right now is honestly between two people, and honestly, I hope this shakes up the game. I will go tally the votes. I have collected the votes. Thank you, finalists, and thank you, jury, for an amazing season. Even the pre-jury, Justice for Marine. What an amazing yes! season. Justice <laughs> for Marine. What an amazing season we've had. It's been a long, hard-fought battle for both y'all players and us production at times. But you know I love all y'all. I want to give a big shout-out also to my production. They stuck with me. And we're still here, and we have an amazing season that's not finished just yet. I will go and see y'all at the live reading of the votes. Oh, what? Why do we need to know? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god.
22. <laughs> well, well, well. 39 days, a grueling season. So much fun, so much drama. This has honestly been one of my favorite seasons to ever see play. But it's not done just yet. There's one more job we have to do here, and that is to reveal a winner and read the final jury votes. This oh is where God. you want to hear your name. And with that being said, uh, let's get to it. First vote, Kyle. Yeah! Move! Second vote, Madison. Yeah! Thank you! Third vote, Boston. Fourth vote. Madison. <laughs> Fifth vote. Boston. Um, Wait, yo, this is sick, actually. Sixth vote. Kyle. Can we get a vote count? Can we get a vote count? Damn. 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 That's two votes, Boston. Two votes, Madison. Two votes, Kyle. Two oh, my votes, God. oh, my God. This is sick. Madison. Ooh. Thank you. And the winner of soccer. Oh, Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Congrats Madison. Oh my god. Thank you everybody. That's my bestie. All right. Well, we're going to get to this reunion very soon. There's some tough questions we got to ask everybody, but really quick I'm going to ask some questions to the finalists. So, our winner, Madison, congratulations on winning. Are you surprised with the result here? Thank you. Um, I am a little surprised. I'm not surprised that it was like really close because I think that everyone in the final three played good and deserved it in their own way. But um, I'm shocked that I won. Um, this was my first survivor, so now I'm one for one. I played one big brother, I played one survivor, and I won both, so I think it's time to retire. Kyle, <laughs> you played yeah. a great game this season. They just came up short. Your partner in crime, Madison, that pulled it out and won. What's going through your head right now? Uh, honestly, I'm I'm more happy for her than anything. I got, like I've said a lot this season, I've, I'm the old part who's played way too much. At, you know, it's It's not my first rodeo, so I'm honestly way more proud of her to be able to to win kind of as a newbie opposed to me just you know getting another win i think it's a, it's a lot more core, I, cool i think it means a lot more to her to win. all right and boston you truly were the evil mastermind of this season and truly one of the biggest surprises for me are you shot with the outcome here um i think everyone in the final three played their own game um i and I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy about the result. I'm happy Madison won, you know. She played a good game. Um, no, I mean, I I can't say I can't say anything about it or bad about these people. It was a good game. It was a good season. And I'm glad we glad it's all wrapped up here now. Well, so I got, I got another question for you because you truly had such a big impact on this season. Do you have any regrets? Um, do I have any regrets? Absolutely not. Um, I knew coming into this game that I was going to be the villain. I know it was practically heroes versus villains. I knew I was going to be the villain. I knew I was going to betray anybody I had to. Um, I don't regret uh, backstabbing any of the people that I did. I mean, pretty much the whole jury over there. At one point, I had an alliance or a working bond with them, and I don't regret it, and I would do it a million times over. All right, it was a pleasure to have you, Boston. You're such a great character. The last question that I have though, before we get to the reunion is, Madison, what are you going to spend the $100 on? Do you have any idea yet or no? I'm going to Disneyland October 3rd. So yeah. if you want to come on down, then come on down. Period. 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 <laughs> All right. And with that, y'all truly are the greatest cast I've ever seen. This was such a fun season. And honestly, I think the best final three I've ever seen in my entire life. This is truly stacked. And with that, why wait any longer? Let's get into this reunion. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.